Hello guys, it's Kayla back here with another video for your fashion, makeup, and skincare tips. I am, however, not a licensed esthetician. I'm not licensed any of this. This is just for fun. And yeah, the article today we will be reading is from I want to say creditio.com. And I'm sorry in advance for my weird ring light here. I don't know what's wrong with it. Um, but yeah, let's get right on into it. So this article is 10 beauty brand Instagram accounts you heart so much. Now, I don't really know what my entire plan was going into this video. I'm just thinking kind of maybe seeing some Instagram makeup ads. So maybe I can look at them and see if I've seen any of these ads on Instagram or if I've seen any makeup ads from any of these brands. So let's see. Let's see, number one, Glossier. Make friends with your followers. Glossier Instagram is so friendly, you want to reach out and hug it. I do like Glossier products. I've only had, I've never actually used their makeup. The fanatically followed beauty brand dip. Definitely makes his post content with just for fun posts while taking special care to engage with followers through plenty of reg... Instagram. That's what I've heard. I've I haven't seen any like Glossier um ads on my Instagram. Or maybe I did, it may have been one of them, but who knows? Mac. Connect with the professional community. Uh yeah, I've never seen Mac on my Instagram. Although I've been I've been into Mac, I just don't buy any products. Maybe that's why I've never actually seen any of their stuff, so NYX, highlight your mission. Yes, and I love NYX Instagram. Like, seriously, there are, like, I don't know, just some of the makeup they post that people do. It's just like, oh, it's, like, it's a little cool. Urban Decay, show them how it works. I actually have not seen Urban Decay on there, but I do like their product and, you know, like, Probably could follow them on Instagram. Anastasia Bev I can never say it right. Anastasia Beverly Hills. There we go. Um, I've never seen their products. I actually like I've never actually seen their Instagram, but I think I have um seen like um some of their ads. Like they were, like let followers be the brand ambassadors. Like this says right here. Um. But, you know, I've never actually done that. Two-faced. Build up anticipation and demand. You know, I don't follow Two-Faced and I've never really... I think I've seen, like, maybe one or two of their ads on Instagram. Um, but I do know that they've had problems in the past and they still might. So, I don't know. I, I've just never actually had a Two-Faced product either. Probably a lot of these brands I may have not had. Benefit. Get them to share. Well, went a little too high there. Benefit wins the prize for encouraging the most interaction from their followers. Yeah. I've heard, I've heard Benefit does that. I've never actually done any of that. Never seen any of their ads or looked at their Instagram, but it might work. All right, Lush, make it a research tool. This is Lush's whimsical book creations are a perfect fit for Instagram. They're just so much fun to look at, whether on the shelf or dissolving in the tub. Yeah, Lush actually does seem like it's a pretty fun brand to have as a, I'm trying to think of the word. Even, I guess even if we're taking a bath. They're just fun to look at. Now, if you're next to the store, it may not smell the greatest if you have a sensitive nose like I do. Let's see. Bare Minerals. Solve a problem for them. We love Bare Minerals Instagram for its makeup emergency videos. These little gems show followers how to freshen up their look in 30 seconds or less. Yeah, actually. I, I've i never tried Bare Minerals, but they do seem like a brand that's like, oh yeah, this... Do this, like, you know, 
you're running late or you know how, how to do things relatively quickly my mom uses them and then the last one kate von d beauty use use your celebrity status though i feel like if a brand is run by a celebrity i feel like a lot of brands do that but it says kate von d beauty is a great example of how to leverage the celebrity behind the brand yeah although isn't it just now called kvd beauty right it's not kat von d anymore or am i wrong um because last time i heard it's just kvd now but yeah well and then it says what else you can do any another way to tap into the power of network dynamic retargeting ads with about eight 800 million users and counting because yeah instagram is very like a lot of people use it and some influencers will push brands on instagram like instagram influencers who post who use mostly instagram as their platform so yeah um i do hope you guys enjoyed this short video today um, and I will see you next week with two brand new videos, and don't forget the link to this article is in the description box below.